guys, this is Chris and I'm watching Chris Star's reaction and today I'm going to react to 14 reasons why the Philippines, the Philippines is different from the rest of the world. So yeah, I'm kind of excited for them. It's not like I'm first time reacting to any Filipinos, yeah, Filipinos videos, but yeah, I'm kind of excited for that. So let's get on with the reaction. Hey guys, if you like my reaction, please click the like button. Do not forget to subscribe. And if you want me to react to any other video, please link it down in the comment section. And let's get on with the reaction. Three, two, one. By the way, I'm, I'm an architect, so. What if I told you there is a country where over 175 languages are spoken? People text more than anywhere else in the world, and boxing fights directly influence crime rates. What? It sounds pretty much unbelievable, but it's all true in the Philippines. Seriously. 14. There are more than 175 spoken languages. There are two official languages in the Philippines. Filipino, based on Tagalog, and English. Filipino is the most commonly spoken in pop culture language, and the government of the country uses English in their work. By the way, the Philippines are number five on the list of the world's top English-speaking populations after U.S., India, Pakistan, and the U.K. All this sounds pretty plain and ordinary, but in fact, the diverse linguistic groups living in the country use over 175 languages for their internal communication. Since many of them exist only in spoken form, it's impossible to calculate the exact amount. So this is kind of similar to India because in India we have a like a very diverse culture and it's really impossible to know any like all the languages i do know three languages but that's it and the english is the like the main one which is spoken but people are not really confident about it in english but we have our whole courses in india in english so yeah so primary i think the most people learn is the english and second in hindi and then we came into south and punjabis have their different so every state has their own language so that's really make up a lot of languages so yeah, I'm kind of not surprised about that because I did know that Philippines really had a very diverse culture. So kind of like glad that there are some more countries like India. 13. Their capital is the most densely populated city in the world. Wow, the that I didn't capital, know. Manila, and its 16 surrounding cities that make up the Metro Manila area have wow. a population of 12.8 million people. Gee. During the daytime, this number gets way higher since many people come here to work. And while the number doesn't sound that crazy, take note that all these people live and work in an area of 16.56 square miles. This makes Gee. the population density equal to 111,002 people per square mile. And that's five times higher than in Mumbai or Paris, for example. Shit, that is 12. too much. They have churches in shopping malls. Shopping malls aren't merely a place where you buy stuff for Filipinos. Exactly. They are safe, air-conditioned community hubs with gyms, health clinics, concert halls, nightclubs, parks, and even churches inside. So it's no surprise that they are the favorite place to meet up with friends for so many locals. And three of the world's ten largest shopping malls are located in the Philippines. That I they are Mega Fashion Mall of SM Mega Mall, mall. SM City North EDSA, that I didn't know. and SM Mall of Asia. Sure. Eleven. So yeah, as an architect, it's really a new standard which have they have created when I designed like a mall or something like that. I didn't give a church or like any kind of religious stuff out there because it's really kind of gets you know at the most times i don't know the focus kind of shifts so you don't have a focal point in malls but they have such a diverse mall culture so it's, it doesn't really stand out but if you're in india you're given in any mall any you know i recently visited one mall where they have this indian uh, god sculpture or something like that and it was really a focal point so the crowd is kind of shifted so, but that, that, I think this kind of thing does can really happen in Philippines in India is next to, I think possible, though not really, you know, a standard. Filipinos are the number one texting nation in the world. That I Already really didn't Filipinos know. Filipinos love meeting up with friends at shopping malls and when they can't see each other in person, they text. And when they do it, they rarely limit it to, hey, how are you? In fact, they send about 400 million texts a day, and that's around 142 billion texts a year. It's An introvert can never Europe understand this. Together. Not exactly a little number for a country of 107 million people. 10. They have a 
unique form of transportation. If you visit Manila, you'll notice some interesting looking vehicles called jeepneys. They are converted wow. U.S. Army jeeps that stayed in the country after World War II. Filipinos adapted them to transport up to 18 passengers that is who so jump smart. on the jeepney going in their direction and ring the bell for it to stop. There are about 50,000 jeepneys in Manila, and they all look different, with basketball stars, cartoon characters, inspirational quotes, neon it's lights, and whatnot. All. There are two major problems with jeepneys, safety concerns and pollution. They produce mm. huge amounts of black smoke. So hurry up if you want to ride before they get replaced with a rapid transit system. So this is like similar to India. I don't think it's similar. It's kind of have this point where we use a lot of two wheelers and autos. Autos are the three wheelers uh, vehicles. So it's kind of similar that transport on the like because in, you know, in metro cities, you don't get to see that much. But in India, you will get to see a lot of autos and jeeps. So I think that's kind of similar, but they have a really good way to represent the gyps here because it was so beautiful. It's so beautiful. Nine. One of the islands has more volcanoes than towns. The Philippines are without a doubt a super scenic location. Direction. Among that's all the true. islands that are a part of it, Camigan sure stands out with more volcanoes per square mile than any other island on the planet. The island is 14 miles long and 8.5 miles wide and has seven volcanoes and five towns. And even though earthquakes and eruptions shaped it, volcanoes have been deep asleep since the 50s, so thousands of tourists can safely visit the island these days. That's a good tourism Eight, technique also. The national flag has a secret meaning. Wow, The national flag of the Philippines has two bands of blue and scarlet, and a white triangle at the hoist with a yellow sun and eight rays, right. each yes. of them standing for one province of the country. The yellow stars stand for the three largest island groups, Luzon, Ooh. Visayas, and Mindanao. What makes a flag really unique is that it can be reversed to declare a state of war. This happened during wow. the Filipino Revolutionary War of 1898 to 1901, and during World War II in 1941 to 1945. Mm -hmm. 7. Boxing directly affects crime rates in the country. I can't Filipinos understand. love boxing and are crazy about their most famous boxer, Manny Pacquiao. Whenever okay. he fights, the whole country is glued to its TV sets. It's and kind of according similar to, to the Pickett. Philippine National Police, BNP, crime rates in the country drop significantly when he's in the ring. During his 12-round fight against American boxer Floyd Mayweather Jr. that went from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m., mm -hmm. not a single crime was committed in the whole Manila metropolitan area. It really? was basically the same during other major fights with the participation of the people's champ, Manny Pacquiao. <laughs> Six. A lot of Filipinos work abroad. It might be because of their flexible and reliable character, or the fact that they speak great English as a second language. But more than 11 million Filipinos work abroad. It's around 11% of the population, and a quarter of all overseas nurses in the world come from the Philippines. Philippines are really but smart and talented. Their enough. rice terraces are the eighth wonder of the world. Hmm? Banawa rice terraces are the oldest in the world and were so smartly designed that they still bring a harvest of wow. rice and vegetables, most of which get exported. And it is believed if all the terraces had been built end to end, they would stretch halfway around the world. Today, these places bring the country more money as a tourist destination than rice plantations, and thus they play an important role for the economy of the country. It's really beautiful how they design. You know, the always the culture which is brought in the history has really good, tremendous, you know, layoutings and how they can you know prevent forest restoration and there's are many things which goes into it it's not really for the they don't have like that time they have actually seen the necessity and what they can do the best and how they can uh at the forest same time so yeah that's really good to see it the philippines four they produce a lot of coconuts for years I love the them. philippines have been the number one producer I love of coconuts, coconuts in the world and even though I the want leadership to go there now, now belongs to Indonesia, 153,532,000 tons per year is still an wow. impressive number, isn't it? These coconuts are used to make anything from clothing to beauty products. Three, the first European to visit the Philippines was Ferdinand Magellan. The legendary explorer made the first record of the archipelago among the Europeans in 1521. He founded the first settlement in Cebu, and thus most of the area became a Spanish colony. 
This explains the fact that around 90% of the population are Christian, unlike most of the country's oh. neighbors. In 1898, the Philippines That's went why. under U.S. rule and later, in 1946, became an independent republic. Two, a Filipino made the first karaoke machine. If you love to sing them. along, you ought to thank Filipinos in 1975 by Roberto the sing-along system, and even though there were some attempts to claim his creation, he still remains the only patent holder for the karaoke system. 1. The population is extremely good-looking. <laughs> Along with their love for boxing, texting, and shopping, Filipinos are crazy about beauty patches. I know it might not. be the years of American rule that him. gave them this love for competitive beauty, but the fact remains a fact. They have won in all major international pageants 15 times. There were four girls crowned Miss Universe, one Miss World, six title holders of Miss International, and four Miss Earth crowns. The first official pageant was held within the country in 1908, and since 2001, it's not just about beauty, but also for the promotion of environmental protection. Mm -hmm. Would you like to visit the Philippines? So yeah, so that's it for the reaction part. So I think the Filipinos and India's kind of, India kind of share a kind of similarities at the same time a very different approach to the things i feel like that so it's really good to see this differences and at the same time so many similarities i do want to visit philippines actually that is one of my tourist spot which i want to cover the next year of like i don't know when but yeah i also want to visit it a lot i really want to so yeah it's kind of good and as an architect as an architect and an architecture student too uh, I feel like the Philippines doing a great job in architecture too because I get to know so many studies about their buildings and they are so environmental friendly at the same time. So it really kind of opens my eyes to many structures and what their policies and what the profiles are. So it's really good to see this video, this kind of video actually. So yeah, I hope you guys like my reaction. Do support my channel. Please do subscribe. We are... We at least want to reach 5 15,000 subscribers and we are 3,000 subscribers away. That's a long journey. A lot of people, a lot of videos will do that, I guess. And with your support too. So I hope you guys like my reaction. So bye-bye.